I don't see a switch. Eh, no matter. With a lip. Turn off! Got it. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The mating song of the junk crabs. Oh, magnifico! Finalmente! Una canzone molto romantica! As long as there is no junk crabs nearby, it's non pericoloso, eh? <laughs> Mille grazie! Ancora? Oh, stupido! Stupido gonzo cretino! <laughs> oh yeah! Do you really? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on. <sighs> Stupid dude. When will you? Have... If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should. You again? Come on in. Come on. You got some no I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the nice deal? I'm getting annoyed here. 
Chakrasettel und auch Glock, wer rettet der Bau, der sich du mag. So neu ist das Bering, ich feier not erring. A Chakra in der Chronograph, a happy life. Ah, not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Ha! Gotcha! Hmm. The red pipe leads toward Little Venice, the green into the heart of the industrial park, and the yellow into that dark alley. Ancora? <laughs> oh yeah. Run! You're free! But don't get lost. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm really... Do you really... 
You're not gonna to tell you. Come on. Freaking you will regret as soon as I find out why my spring gun won't. You again? Come on in. Come on. You got. I'm just like. Come on. Can we skip this bit? All I have to. I'm shaken, awaken, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, they racket the pound in the tickety tock. Excluded, if I'm not deluded. A pencil architect that rummage our chronometer. It's late and I'm tired, if I'm not ill wild. Junks have caused a dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding? The trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice and risk of skidding. How can I sleep with junk crabs near the ear? What's all my sorrow? I fear, my dear, we have to exile that in tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> ho 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 ho! <sighs> what a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa! Now comes the interesting bit! <clears throat> Why, hello, doll! Come here often? Oh, Bozo! Wow! Six words that open the gate to a whole new world! Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off, and then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, why, hello, doll. Come here often? <laughs> Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Pataka. Bring it on! It's 
is on! Let's get ready for another violent round of Platypus Wataka! And... Fight! Sadako Vatabra Bridge! Eternal Hemorrhage! That doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. What an ugly training dummy. I will beat it up with great pleasure. Not that I really need any training. All right, I'll give it a try just this once. <laughs> I wanted to let him win too, just this once. <laughs> I wanted to let him win too, just this once. I meant to do that. I wanted to let him win too, just this once. <laughs> I meant to do that. I wanted to let him. Enough training. <laughs> I'm in great shape. Eh? on It's on Let's get ready for another violent round of Platypus Wataka That was fun. Huh, that was fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. So, what shall we get ourselves into next? Oh, well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. Hmm, I regret that in a way. I feel oddly liberated without my snooty and my gullible traits. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. Rufus! What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Yeah, I bet. We had better get started. This is getting crazier by the minute. I'm going to take the cartridges to Doc's lab now. Meet me there, alright? She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? Psst! I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is it that's going on in there? I mean, and what are you doing here anyway? We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just shitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? 
in your dreams. First off, goal is a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Ascension Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crime has held up in Doc's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and are trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the full hour, we will system the premises. Actually, Girl left us disturbing, Liebold and I will hold this position. What? But that's completely insane! Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at nothing. You're just gonna get yourselves killed! Or me, as it is. Judge is the fate of a freedom fighter, always ready to die for the good cause. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. What was that? Hello, Liebold. Hey, Rufus. Is there a reason you're staring at me like that? Uh, no, no. Funny. I really don't see an implant. Ah, whatever. It fits. Hello, Liebold. Hey, Rufus. Is there a reason... Uh, no, no. Of course, I could just get out of here, but then I'd miss all the action. Huh, I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah! I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me. I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past. Doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? But I look much younger than you do. What? You rotten baby face. Oh, I would love to give you the spanking you deserve. But I guess I can't because I'm already too senile for that. <laughs> Man, you're such a wimp. There's no way you can be me from the future. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Anybody could say that. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But I'm not as ugly as you are. Not true. Not true. You're even uglier than me. So there. Ha! You just gave yourself away. I know I would have thought of a much cooler reply. 
I actually did. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Oh yeah, right. You just don't know the first thing. Yes, I do. No, you... Future self. What a load of bull. You don't get it, do you? Was I really that dense back then? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup, because that's what you are. A stupid, retarded, absolute model. Huh, I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that, so I wouldn't create it. Just admit that I... Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... Uh... <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are! How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she alright? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free goal, remember? Well, why don't you go rescue goal and I take care of the rebels? Mm. Oh, can we fast forward this bit? Just, just trust me. You already did it earlier. So if you had done it right away, it would already have happened again over there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's totally logical. I grasped it the first time. Oh, yeah? Sure, me too. But I want that gun. We can't do that. When I was you, I also didn't get the gun until later. We need to do everything just the same way as before. I don't care. I want the gun. Why won't you get it? If I let you have the gun now, it would alter the timeline. I would dissolve, and we would have to start over from the beginning. Well, stop being so selfish and give me that gun, will ya? If anyone is selfish here, it's you. Or have you rescued Goal already? If I had a gun, I'd do it in a jiffy. Well, I did it with my bare hands. If I don't get my gun right now, nothing's gonna happen here at all. You can have it as soon as Goal is free. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you simply do it yourself? Because I need to hold the fort here. And why can't I hold the fort? Because I've got the gun. Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm going to dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sports. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> Through the portal? Yeah, okay. And hurry! The clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, what an idiot. <sighs> Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Doc! Goal! You're alive! What's going on? Rufus? What are you doing? Uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos cabinet? I, uh, needed some asbestos and accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! 
Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan! Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. Doc? Are you alright? Oh, right, the gag. Uh, there. Better now? Yes. All peachy. Okay, then I can leave now, right? Yes. Well, you know, it's not like we couldn't use a little help. I see. What exactly happened? It came out of nowhere. Well, actually, they came through the door. They just overwhelmed us and took us prisoner. Apparently, they're after the Ascension Codes. You think so? Well, they did say things like, where are the Ascension Codes, and so on. I tried to explain that we can't give them the codes right now. They wouldn't listen. Any ideas? Alas, no. My hands are tied, so to speak. Well, your hands are tied, actually. That, too. Perhaps Lady Gold can think of something. Her cartridge is still in the implant. This element on Donna's temple, is that also an implant? Yes, I mounted it myself. Why do you ask? I think I have a plan. I recommend that you get a second opinion. You wouldn't happen to have a remote for Donna lying about. Hey, of course. I do have one, come to think of it. It should be in the drawer, over there. But you would have to get pretty close for it to work. Just leave that to me. Do I have a choice? Nope. Let me try something. I would cross my being tied up and all that. No problem. Hey, what the... Go. Rufus, at last, you've got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. Huh, so you're Lady Goal. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. What happened exactly? They were just suddenly there. Doc tried to defend me, almost like a real gentleman. A completely futile attempt. There were three of them. They were armed. Are you alright? Of course! We're having a picnic here. Really? With pancakes? That was sarcasm. Ah, yet I know. No pancakes then, huh? What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment... Don't you dare! Wow! Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Goal. You'll thank me for this later. May I? <clears throat> Super! Two more remotes. Great! That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey! It says Donna! That should be useful. And on the other... Ha! Well, hello! This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. What's the plan? Oh, the plan has already been completely implemented. We have the target person, at least theoretically. Bravo! And how are you expecting to get out again? Donna is already developing a new plan for that. Actually, there's nothing to be said against that procedure. What's the plan? Oh, the plan! We have the target person. Bravo! And how are you... Donna is already... Actually... Hey, Donna! Shh! Donna needs to think. What for? So far, she's done okay without. What was that? I'm starving for a cheese flan for crying out. Yeah, me too. But for now, we'll have to stay in here. Even if it means that we'll starve to death. Hey, what are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No! It 
It's fine, actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh, well. One less worry, at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm. Use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Goal. Spunky Goal, but of course! I've got Liebold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Goal in Liebold. She will then subdue Janosch while I take care of Garlef. And voila! We're out of here! Past self? What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thingamy and, and, and so forth. It's complicated. Isn't it always? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Now, we need to find Spunky Gold's cartridge. Here, might as well take this one. Hey, awesome! You're not half bad. Only one third, actually. Just trust me, you go free the others. I'll take care of the rebels. But first, I'm gonna grab a gun. And I get Donna's remote. If it makes you happy. Oh man, this is gonna be so totally epic. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun too. <laughs> and... Who's the better man now, huh? Stupid future Rufus. Doc? Are you alright? Mm. Oh, right. Uh, there. Better now? Yes. Okay, then I can leave now, right? Yes. It's not like we couldn't use a little help. I see. Let me try some. I would call it being... No problem. Hey, what the... Oops! <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. <laughs> No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. And what about your wonderful plan? I'm working on it. Hey! Open up! It's me, Rufus! Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up, otherwise I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, yoo-hoo! Can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here! What's this? Another remote? Yes! It's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Janosch. Phew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm... <laughs> One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Not necessary. I've got all... I have nothing else to say to me, for now.
I have enough for now. Well then, let's do it. Cool! Now what? There you are at last! What took you so long? Just because you're from the past, huh? What's going on? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future's and this is the future. They, they call, call him Rufus! Hey, that's my jingle! Not anymore! I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh, I want proof. All right. Any a simple test will show for you exactly. So, what am I... No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say... Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Well, actually... Hey! <laughs> there you are! Can we finally get going? You need to go in there. So she's really in there? Don't panic. Wink and nod. What? You overwhelmed? That nah, was nothing. Looks like you're re- How did you pull that off? Nah. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take- Whoa! Is that real? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a- Can I try it? You're headed to the lab! You- Oh, well, I'm sure I'll do it way- Please do it just as- And that is- <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. But afterwards, I'll get the- Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> Through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry! The clock's about to strike. And then the rebels- All right. What a hero. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now. And then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience. And nobody beats me at that. Patience. I can't leave here now. The clock will strike the hour any second. And then... I'd rather wait until they come in. And that will happen. Which shouldn't be too long. <laughs> Which shouldn't be too long now. Oh, darn it. Time obviously has no sense of timing. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! Ouch. Did you hear that? The clock is striking the arrow. And right on the spot. It's time for your grand entrance, Dorlis. Uh, do I really have to? Quick question. Usually, it's you who thinks it walks people shishos. But usually, it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. Stop trying to make excuses. One for all, and today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Well, sometimes. What the... It's jammed? Ah! Tough luck! Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for, for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc? Why are you still trussed up? Lady Goal was supposed to untie you! But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal! She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Goal is still outside, in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Goal see reason. That wasn't Spunky Goal. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote!
Oh, oh my. That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity. I... Hey! Goal, what's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together. Save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But Cletus is a snotty jerk! Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am. And certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way. And I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But we were going to save the world together! That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home, before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you! Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. There is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there. The destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Now, do you finally understand? If Deponia is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it! Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Well, what's so great about this Utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not Deponia. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then. But that was starry-eyed goal. Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet. And now... Everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. 
Okay. I think I understand now. But... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, on to Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. Then let us save Deponia together! But I've already explained. Saving Deponia would mean the end of Elysium. It would end up as just another mound of trash on this garbage dump of a planet. But I can't live like this. I thought you would be able to relate to that, Rufus. It's gonna be a bit of work. So what? I've made my mind up, Rufus. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry! Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's gonna kill us all! I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to a drama Scarazes fresh doubts in her heart disarray And she left him behind, though still not in one mind Planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé But if you think it's time for a first to resign So close to the finish line, you don't know him at all For heroes gather momentum on the brink of the maggot On a fall by the squall, they put balls to the wall Rufus! Hmm. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosch, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side like way back then. Way back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, ah, well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull?
At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Porto Fisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watch It. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watch It. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough! I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? 